are good warm-ups then. <laughs> right? All right, here we go. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Saquon Say Hello. Thank you for watching News Talk Weekly and Abstract Control Production. I'm here today with my co-host, Gabe Campos, and today we're here to, dis to talk about a few topics. We have the Supreme Court nominee. We also have an uh, NBC sports reporter leaving NBC. And we also have a lot of talks about the Ukraine and Russia situation and things that's going on this week here in Arizona. So to start off, we're going to cover the uh, nomination from Joe Biden. On February 25th of 2022, on the hills of Black History Month, the first Black woman judge, Kentaji Brown Jackson, has uh, been nominated to become the 116th Associate Justice of the United States Supreme Court. Um, lately, since the since Justice Stephen Breyer was an had announced his retirement, Biden had been conducted a rigorous process to identify his replacement. He had sought out a candidate that was had exceptional uh, credentials, unimpeachable character, and unwavering dedication to rule of the law. And uh, the president also sought out an individual who is committed to equal justice under the law and who understands the profound impact that the Supreme Court's decision have on the lives of American people. Um, Kentaji Brown Jackson, she was a judge on the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. Uh, she was also on the District Court of the District of Columbia. She served as the uh, clerk for Justice Breyer. And she was also a public defender. And if I'm correct, she's from uh, Florida. She will be nominated to serve for a lifetime, um, which is definitely great um, for, for a Black person, especially, like I said, coming off the hills of uh, Black History Month. And this is also Biden sticking to one of his campaign promises that he would nominate a Black woman to sit in one of those seats. How do you feel about that, Gabe, coming off the hills of Black History Month and everything like that? I think it's good. I think it's a good move for the Biden administration to do something like that. Um, I like the fact that it, it is done in uh, Black History Month. So I think it's great. Uh, I don't have a lot of opinions about the situation other than I think it was good that he delivered on at least that campaign promise. Right, right. This was just a nomination. So we're still waiting for her to be for everything to be approved and for her to get in there. So once she does. Uh, we'll definitely have more to say. We'll do our research to give our opinions on her beliefs and things like that and see if this is actually a good fit for our culture and for the United States moving forward. And for the communities. True, true. 